What is up guys and welcome to the video. If you didn't know, Treyarch fully released the Carve 2 Tech 2 rifle today here in Black Ops Cold War for everyone to unlock. If you wanted to, you could buy the bundle that's available in the shop, but I highly recommend just doing the method in this video to unlock it in about 20 minutes, including setup. If you do everything perfectly, you could probably even do it in significantly less time. The multiplayer challenge for this gun isn't too difficult in that you only need to get one double kill in 10 different matches with tactical rifles, but you have to complete the entire match, so it could take you one to two hours of playtime depending on the weight between games. So I highly recommend playing zombies and doing those challenges, as all you have to do is get 250 long shots with tactical rifles, which can definitely be done in one game. I recommend the M16 and some kind of long range sight for it. I use the multi zoom, but your other attachments don't really matter. There are two methods to this. One is an outbreak. It relies a little bit on luck. You can shoot straggling zombies from far away, especially on the first wave, and you can try and find an objective that allows you to leave the area and shoot the zombies from far away to get the long shots. This method is fine, but I prefer playing around base maps anyway, and the method for that is way more consistent, and you'll know that you'll be able to get the long shots each game. We're going to be playing Firebase Z for this. Just set up your game like normal, get the power on, upgrade your weapon whenever you can, and get perks just like normal. I'd recommend at least having stamina up and deadshot, deadshot for the extra damage, and stamina up so that you can get away from the zombies quickly enough to ensure that you get the long shots in time. If you try to go to the normal spots in the map, like the Colonel's office, or if you try to train anywhere, and especially on D-Machine, you'll notice that you don't really have a spot that counts for long shots, so we'll have to do a little finagling to make sure that we actually get those medals. Once you have the power on, go ahead and train around the helipad until you have all of the zombies in the map in your horde. Once you do, you're going to want to step back into this corner by the truck and let the zombies get as close to you as possible, and then just start running. You're going to want to take this path and get all the way back in the weapons lab by the armor and start shooting as soon as possible. You have to kill the zombies while they're still behind the main gate to the area because otherwise they won't count as long shots. This is why I recommend to focus on getting stamina up and a decently upgraded M16. You'll have to have the damage to stay that far away from the zombies and make sure that you get those long shots. Once you kill all of the zombies behind the gate, move as soon as you notice that. You can get trapped in the weapons lab pretty easily, especially if you have the door to the defense area open, which is why I would definitely recommend keeping that defense area door closed as long as possible. I had it open in this game, but it definitely put, got me in a little bit of trouble every once in a while. All right, now that you're set up and everything's going well, just rinse and repeat. Train zombies, run to the weapons lab, and shoot. If you're struggling to get them in the weapons lab, you can also run next to the mystery box location from the helipad, which will give you more time to get the long shots, but the shots will be harder to hit. It's a little bit of a weird angle, and you may find yourself struggling even more because your shots are getting blocked. Alright, that's going to be it. If you liked the video, definitely leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos coming from my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.